Tuesday, July 30th, 0904 AM, New York time. Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. This video is going to cover cruise ships. If you watch the series, the beginning one, I was on the airlines, you'd be able to look at the comparison between the cruise line industry and the airline industry. Which ones are performing better? And then you can do the top down. Look for the trade setups. There are some still that haven't had earnings yet. There are opportunities to do the pre-earnings trade as well as the post-earnings trade. I discussed that thoroughly on my Patreon page. So we're looking at a five-year chart. Each candle will be a week. First, Carnival Cruise. Look at the market cycle. <clears throat> Distribution, markdown, accumulation. What do you think we're in now? Swing high, swing high, swing high. Rejection, rejection, rejection. Are we going to break through here? Go higher? Or is this trend going to continue going lower? Are we in distribution phase? Or is it going to be accumulation phase? Well, we certainly see here for Carnival Cruise, but below the high of last year. Let's update this one. That nice shift to the typo. Here's the low of last year. So we're making higher lows and have a supply zone up here. It's almost like a wedge with a coil. Getting tighter and tighter. The high of the year was this candle for 2024. A huge dump. Still have this impulse move up here. Strong buying demand was in that week. First here was that rejection. Are we surprised? Look, prior swing highs failure. Strong rejection here. That's just one cruise line company. Let's go to the next. Lindblad, expectations. Expectations, probably pronounce that wrong. For the five-year cycle. So here's the high for the past five years. Here's the low for the past five years. Last year, distribution. Again, that was the high last year. The low of last year. The low of this year and the high of this year. So this year is still stuck in the range of last year. Just like the other one, Carnival. We had a swing high here. We failed to take it out. Again, this is the high of this year. And then we had that huge dump. That was an impulse move up. So the current momentum down will have a higher chance of testing midpoint there or maybe the bottom there, <clears throat> just like I showed you on the other one. Norwegian Cruise Lines, here's the high, 2020. Here's the low, 2020. Okay. Distribution, markdown, accumulation, more distribution, markdown. Tight consolidation range this year. We're still inside the range of last year, as we've seen the other ones. So they're poor performing. They're not doing better than last year. Again, a weak industry. Excuse me. Here's the high this year. We haven't made it back up there yet. Look at that past week. Huge rejection. Yep, certainly weakness here on the highs. Go on to the next one. Royal Caribbean. Big difference. Wow, look at that. Here's the low past five years. And last week happened to make the high of last five years. Big difference. Royal Caribbean outperforming the other cruise lines. Wow. Markup phase. Nice. And then it had also that huge dump last week, making that all-time new high last week, and then a huge dump. What happened? Hmm. Maybe we get a midpoint test here. So the potential trade idea is if you're bullish, you could look for it to retrace up to midpoint, if it breaks that, maybe 100%. Again, prior week was dump. Maybe came, somebody came out and made a comment about the overall industry, but it certainly affected what I'm showing you, all these 
and Viking Holdings, a rather new one listed recently. Last week was the new high. Currently inside candle, there's the low. It doesn't have much history yet on the stock market. So overall, weakness in the cruise lines. Doesn't mean there's not trade opportunities, but investing, pass. There's better industries, better sectors. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching.